C. diff or Clostridium difficile infections uh, in the gastrointestinal tract are extremely serious. There are about 300,000 cases every year, most of which occur in the hospital, but now occurring out of the hospital as well. And there are at least 28,000 deaths, so somewhere around 9 or 10% of people who get this infection actually die from it. 3% of people, as I said, carry this, and we're starting to see a lot more of, the, of C. diff infections outside the hospital. Generally, they occur after a course of antibiotics. Uh, oftentimes, Cipro is, is, a, is one that is particularly common, uh, and it also occurs in people who have immune deficiencies and people whose resistance is low. The cost of treating one case of C. diff is about $60,000. It's interesting that the spores that carry this disease stay alive for months and they spread from hand to mouth and they occur in hospitals that are dirty. And I say that because it's really hard to keep a hospital clean. Your normal cleaning agents won't touch C. diff. You have to use bleach to kill the spores and then everybody has is, is got it pretty much uh, on their hands and on their clothing. So trying to keep people from being exposed to large doses of C. diff is a real problem in the hospital. Now, an interesting new treatment has been devised, but before I, I want to talk about that, we should know that the treatment that we use in the mainstream involves the use of a very powerful antibiotic called vancomycin and, and something called cholestyramine, which binds the toxins that are in the GI tract. <clears throat> and people who have this infection often relapse at about a 50% rate. So the success that we're having with this infection in the hospital and conventional medicine is not very good. Now, there was a study done that was published in the journal Gastroenterology, which is a mainstream peer-reviewed GI journal. And what they did is they did fecal transplantation of stool from a healthy person using a colonoscope into the cecum, which means they have to go all the way into the uh, where the small intestine joins the large intestine to deposit this. And it did something that was fantastic. What they found in the 70 patients that they had that had the C. diff infection is that when they put the, the stool into the, into the cecum and followed these people over 12 weeks, that nearly all of them are cleared of their infection. So, and, and they had no complications at one year. For some of the more resistant C. diff infections, they had a little less success. It was something like 89%, but still very good. And yet at the same time, we've had a treatment for C. diff enterocolitis for a long time. Uh, in nutritional medicine, we use probiotics, which are now starting to make their way into the mainstream. But we're also using things like L-glutamine and a lot of nutrients that the gut needs to repair itself. So we have a couple of approaches here that are contrasting. One is the one that we use in mainstream medicine, which is to kill the kill the, the microbe, if we can, with an antibiotic. And the other, which is done by people who do more natural mass, uh, approaches to solving this problem, will try to strengthen the immune capacity of the body. And now this idea of doing fecal transplantation, which, by the way, has been around for about 20 years. We've known about this for some time, but it never made it into mainstream medicine. Now that we have this, we're going to save a lot more lives. And if we can do a little bit more about adding a few simple nutrients to most people who have C. diff, and we can actually prevent this from happening in the first place. Uh, one of the things that helps to lower the risk for developing C. diff is to use a, uh, a uh, probiotic that's called uh, Saccharomyces boulardii. And it's very effective at preventing cases like that. And if we also add probiotics and add the L-glutamine and nutrients that help support uh, the uh, strength and wellness of the gut, we'll see this disease start to disappear and it'll be just another di disease that we can solve.